I'm just gonna record you. Can you see my eyes? Yeah. So yesterday we went to Lowe's and got these cute little half whiskey barrels to match the ones I already have um, my plants growing in. And I have my zucchini. I have my zucchini and my squash here that I started as seeds. Um, and now I think it is time to move them on to a bigger and better spot. So we're gonna plant these in my beds and see what happens. We've got some Ace brand potting soil and uh, I don't know what that other one is. Oh. And we have some Miracle Grow also potting soil for your raised garden beds. We have some peat moss to add in and some mulch to go on top to keep to hold all the water in. So far this miracle grow that I've got here at Lowe's I uh, have in these um, beds works seems to be working out fine those are my potatoes there and my onions and they're thriving oh that's a notable difference noticeable yeah yeah I think the peat moss will take care of the rest yeah oh yeah I forgot we had the bag of compost guys I know making your own is probably better, but not everybody has time for that. This does not smell great. <laughs> We're transplanting my squash and my zucchini um, seeds that I germinated in my garage to these cute little half whiskey barrels we got from Lowe's. My husband, who is my muscle, has already pre-filled them with soil. It is part Miracle Grow and then some Ace brand. Uh, we got a potty soil that's good for your raised garden beds. We also added a little bit of a, a generic compost uh, bag. I forget the brand of it. I think it's Black Velvet from Lowe's. We're also going to add some peat moss in it that we got from uh, Lowe's. It is... Met, uh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> it's upside down. From Majestic Earth. Yeah, Majestic Earth. Sorry guys, my eyesight is going out because it is about 100 degrees from Satan's asshole out here. It's hot. Um, so now I'm just going to use my little cultivating tool and mix in the compost with the potting soil. And get all that mixed in. I don't know, babe. How do you want to do your garden? I don't know. I'm just got excited about this. <laughs> We're halfway there. Let's get it to look like that. Yes, and now we will. <laughs> we added some peat moss real quick because we forgot to add that earlier. Um, I'm not going to make y'all agonizingly sit through me planting these and figuring it out. So we're going to speed that up and go do that. All right, so we kind of randomly planted everything. These three here are squash and all this is zucchini, we think. But one of these zucchinis is a squash. And we don't know which one because they all look exactly the same right now. So now I'm going to add my fertilizer. Some more. This is a fish emulsion, Alaskan. I got, you can get it at Lowe's, Ace, wherever. Um, if you... No, you know this stuff stinks, but it works. I solely brought this in my potatoes looking that good. Um, but the funny thing is, is you gotta like push the top down to get this open. And my husband does that for me and his finger 
has reached the stuff each and every time and once it gets on your skin it stays on your skin forever um, I might need you so I don't drown it and sprinkle this over so he's gonna do that for me just because the heat is starting to affect my MS that is one of the icky perks of having MS is you cannot stand the heat okay that should be plenty and then I've got my spray neem oil to help as um, animal repellent. I'm not sure the brand, but I know you can see it right now. But you can pick it up at Lowe's, Ace, again, anywhere. Tractor Supply. Okay, so now I'm just going to water my squash and zucchini uh, before we go inside because it's getting unbearably hot for me. We're going to leave this bed. I'm going to water it so I can get a good deep water, but we're going to leave it empty for right now. I've got some eggplants that are germinating, and once they get ready, we're going to put them in over here. So, I went ahead and added some mulch to this to keep in the moisture so the sun doesn't suck out all the water, and I labeled my squash and my zucchini. Um, doing a little research, this is my first time transplanting, so I wanted to know why they were so frumpy. Um, they are in shock because, you know, you added them to nature. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and water my garden, water these, and then water the rest of my plants. And we're going to call that a wrap. 